All right, what's up, guys? Welcome back. We are now on week 10 of the Kentucky Dynasty. We got a home game this time. It's against Georgia out of the SEC East. We're coming in 4-4. Four and four. We've lost two in a row at LSU and at Mississippi State. This one's not going to be any easier. Georgia's an A rating. They're an A-minus defense. You can see they got a top 20 defense. They actually like to throw the ball around a little bit, even though they have some really great running backs. We're going to get right into this one. It's an important home game if we want to. This really is going to turn our season around if we can get this win today. Uh, so far, all of our, our best win is against South Carolina. We did get them at home. Uh, so you guys, I just here's the standings right here. Florida's still undefeated. I know that was pretty quick. But uh, we're 4-4. Four and four. We beat South Carolina and Central Michigan and then lost to LSU and Mississippi State, both on the road. Georgia comes in. Tereshinsky is a good quarterback. He's a senior this year, so we won't see him at Athens, Georgia next season. But they've got a pretty stacked defense. They're looking solid. Uh, big news for this game is that Keenan Burton is suspended. So he is out for this game. Uh, we're going to be down our top wide receiver, and he was really productive in the Florida game. Uh, so we that's going to hurt us a little bit. We're going to lose some depth here, but guys, let's get it going. We uh, won the toss. We're going to kick it off. The wind is going to be a big factor in today's game. We'll see if we get any, uh, if we have to kick any field goals. We'll have to keep that in mind because we don't have the best kicker. But he's pretty good, though. Uh, we'll kick it into the wind. Here, this doesn't really stand a chance. Uh, Brown going to take it and get all the way past the 30 yard line. Georgia's got it first and 10, 30 yard line. We're going to get started here, guys. They've got an impact running back. Um, I'm not sure why the jersey says that if you <laughs> I don't know what the hell's on his jersey but his name is brown and he gets the handoff picks up about six yards they run it again it's third and two so our defense we got the home field advantage this time crowd's getting into it third and two let's see if we can get him for a stop i just noticed that with the jersey i didn't realize that the, when i was playing this but ignore that jersey name they're coming out throwing though play action we actually get some pressure and it's a nice bat down by the free safety carl booker we're off the field three and out that's a great start We've got to do things like that. We can't give up opening drives uh, for a touchdown. Georgia's coming out in man defense. They're lining up right over our running back and tight end, and they're following Dickie Lyons over there in the slot. We're going to hand it off. Little makes a little move, kind of cuts back too far, picks up some yards. Uh, we tried to run it again, didn't really get much on that one. It's third and six now. Mo moving out little in the backfield to see they that safety takes over on him. We're going to see if anybody's open. We hit Jacob Tammy, and he... It's short. He's fourth and inches, but guys, we're going to go for this. We're at home. we got to take a chance. It's fourth and inches. It's a handoff to John Connor, and what happens? John Connor, are you kidding me? If he were only just a little bit faster, man. <laughs> oh, he breaks a tackle. Stays in bounds, but what a run. That's one of the longest runs of the season by our fullback. I think it was 49 yards. 49 yards from John Connor. Look at this. He, that guy makes a diving attempt and completely whiffs on it. He's got like 68 speed. He's not the fastest dude out there, but he was moving. Picked up quite a few yards. Broke a tackle for an extra 5 or 10 yards there. We got it in the red zone just like that. The gamble pays off. They're spreading out their linebackers here. We can maybe run this. Uh, we do. We go up the middle, kind of drift out to the edge. Not a, real, not a whole lot of room there. Georgia's run defense is really solid. So we're going to come out throwing. Demario Ford in place of Keenan Burton is open on this one. Picks up the first down. We got it second and goal now after an incompletion. We're seeing if we can get something here. We got, we're going to try to get John Connor involved again. Look at this wheel route. We're going to see if we can catch Georgia off guard. We're going to run play action. And John Connor's open. Oh, but he drops it. Maybe a little too tired. Maybe a little too excited. I'm not sure. Either way, it's now third and goal. We got to get points here. We can't, do, we can't get a turnover, so I just don't want to throw a pick. We've got crossing routes with Lions and Watson, the true freshman. And we're in the zone, and we throw it to Lions, but look at the Mario Ford. Says, I'll take that. He grabs it, shows off, makes the catch. 100% we threw that to Dickie Lions, but the, bat, the Mario Ford ran out of space and just decided to go get the ball. Either way, we'll take it. We're up 7-0. What a great start. Now we're on defense again. We've got him in a third and six. They're running the ball quite a bit. I'm not sure if they will here. We audible action into zone coverage, and they do throw it. Tereshinsky's got all day to throw, but look at this. He finally gets sacked. He takes too long. Williams, the linebacker on the blitz, picks up the sack. And that's a huge play. Our defense is stepping up. Look, he had, I mean, how many seconds do you have, man? You got to get you got to get rid of that ball, or I know he's not a scrambler, but at least do something, man. You can't stand in the pocket that long. 
Anyway, we get the ball. We're in good field position again. It's second and nine. We've got this I formation again this time. We're going to hand it off to Rafael Little. There's some space here. It makes a guy miss, but gets kind of eaten up there by the uh, by the. I can't. I don't remember if that was the safety or the defensive end. I think that was the safety. It may have been the defensive end. They both have dots on defense. Third and one now. We need to try to convert this if we can. It looks like a pretty long one, but it doesn't. No, it, it almost didn't. I thought we had it. Rafael Little short. Fourth and inches. We've already picked it up once, guys. I think we can do it again. Georgia, they may be ready for this. We'll have to just play it safe here. Try to get a good snap. We don't. Our center gets absolutely destroyed. And that's a turnover on down. So it doesn't work that time. Georgia, look at their momentum. They have momentum now, but it's third and three. They're calling an audible again. We move into cover three zone. They match up and they're going play action, but it's short. I think our defense is working. We're calling we're calling blitzes and then audibling into zone, and it's confusing the quarterback. It's confusing their quarterback. Now they're in man. We got the ball again, winding down here at the end of the first quarter. Looking for somebody open. We hit Demario Ford on a nice little hitch route. That's good for a first down. Demario Ford stepping up so far. He's got a, some catches with a touchdown. We run a little no huddle here, just try to catch him off guard. Would they get a late jump? We hit Dicky. Uh, excuse me, Rafael Little for a short little gain. Second and five, uh, second and seven, five seconds left. This will be the last play of the quarter, and there's nowhere to go on that one. So, pretty solid quarter. It's third and 13 now. We actually took a delay of game trying to adjust our play call. Kind of a stupid penalty there. We could have called timeout, but now it's third and 13. We're almost, we're almost took another delay of game. They're in zone defense. I don't love anything. I gotta throw it away, and we almost get a fumble. That could have been really bad. Fortunately, it's incomplete. We punted away. We're trusting in our defense. We played great the first two possessions. Now Georgia back on the field. First and 10 at the 34-yard line. They've got this impact running back who fixed his jersey. His name actually says Brown now. And he gets some pretty good He gets a good yards after contact there. Picks up an easy first down. Look at the total offense so far. 105 to 42. We're really controlling the ball. Uh, we're, our defense is playing well. But they're coming out in an eye formation. It's a toss play. We're there, but he spins around. Joe Schuler thankfully, gets there for the tackle. It's only a gain of three. Could have been worse. Could have been better if we could have hit him in the backfield. Second and seven. They're in shotgun now, which makes me nervous because they can do anything. They drop back. They're going to throw it. They're going to take a deep shot. Look at that wind. Blow the ball back. We get an easy bat down. That guy tries to make a diving catch. Not successful. The wind really a factor in this one. You could see that ball just get blown back, blown back towards us. And fortunately, we made a bat down. Third and seven now, guys. They got Lumpkin in the backfield. Brown is out in the slot. We're trying to cover him. And we kind of abandoned our zone a little bit. So that's kind of our fault on that one. They pick up the first down. Second and five now. We're trying to mix up our defense a little bit. We're pinching in. They're in this little jumbo formation. And look at the blocking downfield. That's He's not even touched, man. That is beautiful blocking by the receiver and tight end. Now it's, e it's an even game. Look at this, 7-7. Seven, seven. They've got all the momentum because they stopped us on fourth down. That's NCAA for you. That's NCAA with seven for you. We got to get it back. Rafael Little, nothing. No running room. We got, we got those yards back. It's now third and 10. But we've got to get something here. We're doing some crossing routes, a post and a corner. We actually moved Dickie Lyons over to see what they're in. They actually are in man. We were looking at Ford all the way, but Tammy's there. Just can't make the catch. Got hit right when he caught it. That was a tough catch for him. Kind of understand the drop on that one. As long as we make some of those catches, I'm good with that. First and 10 now. Georgia with the ball and the momentum. This is where you get a little nervous because they can really stretch this lead out. If they, if they, Well, they don't have the leads tied, but if they score again, like Brown moving, he's making moves. They could stretch this one out and get out of hand quickly. Fortunately, I trust our defense. We've been playing well. We just gave up a touchdown on the last drive, but we got to stick with what's working. Our run defense has been solid for the most part. Now they're in shotgun again. Tereshinsky in the backfield with Brown. The shotgun normal, I just don't love this formation because they really can do whatever they want here. They can run play action, and I'll probably bite on it. And they actually hand it off, and we get a nice play from our defensive end there. No gain. Now it's second and 10. And here's a toss play. We're there. Nice tackle. That's from the other side. Wide on the right at defensive end. That's a beautiful play on that one. Now it's third and 11. And we've got them right where we want. This is the this is an interesting formation too. They get both tight ends on routes. We're trying to cover a lot of people. 
They actually complete it, but it's short. Now they're going to go for it on fourth down. Can they pick this up? We've stopped. They stopped us once around this side of the field in the first quarter. Let's see if we can stop them. We got the crowd trying to get some noise here. They, they could still run this, but they drop back. They throw it. And, oh, and they just, I don't know what happened, man. They, they had him wide open here. I think the guy went for a one-handed catch, and he just didn't grab it. So we'll take it. We'll take that. Look at the momentum. Now we've got it all. We're trying to take a deep shot here. We've got Demario Ford. Man coverage on a linebacker. We see it. We take it. I know that safety's coming quick. Fortunately, the wind took control of that one, blew, and it was too far. We got to take shots like that, though. We can't just throw little short passes all game, so I don't mind an incomplete there. Second and 10, we're going to get back and try to pick up some yards on the ground to make it third and short. Nice block there by John Connor. That's an easy first down. He actually gets a broken tackle there. Big run for Rafael Little. That's his best of the game so far. Now we're at second and five. We're keeping the clock moving. We're going to try to score right before halftime if we do this right. So we're going a little short pass here. Uh, we actually hit Watson. He gets a little pick route, and he ends up getting out of bounds, but a nice game there. First and 10 on the 32-yard line. Tony Dixon now in the backfield. We're giving Rafael Little a break. We can't overwork him this season. He is our primary running back, and he's a great pass catcher. Tony Dixon has a big hole here. Look at this. This is exactly what we need from our O-line. Nice hole there. Tony Dixon runs for a first down. We're in the red zone. Clock is moving. We're going to try another run with Tony Dixon, this time under center. We're taking our time on this play because we want to give them as, much, as few time as possible or as few seconds as possible is what I should say. Second and six now. We're in this. We're under center again, trying to power run. We're looking at the left side if possible. Their, their corner follows DeMario forward, so that frees up Rafael Little. Breaks a tackle. Breaks another one. He gets all the way down to the one-yard line. Guys, our offense is moving. We're doing pretty good. Now we're in goal line again. Are we going to hand this to John Connor? Woodson's in the zone. They actually get a jump, and we're just going to sneak it in. Andre Woodson right up the middle. We will take that. It's offsides. And Andre Woodson picks up a rushing touchdown to go to his stat sheet. Well, guys, it's we're, we got all the momentum now. It is 13-7. We kicked the extra point. But there's plenty of time for Georgia to come back and score right before half. So we have to play defense. They've got all their timeouts. I think they took one to stop the clock on second and four. But I wouldn't be surprised. They could still run it here. They could do a toss. They really have whatever they want. It is a toss, but look at this. Blown up. That's a five-yard loss. And we guys, we call a timeout there because I want the ball back. I want the ball back. The wind is, if you guys remember, the wind is in our back, 30 miles per hour. If we get to like the 35-yard line, we can kick a field goal. But we got to get a stop here. They're in this power formation. They may run it. For some reason, their fullback cannot hear what the quarterback just said. It's a little loud in here. And he's going to get the handoff. And he kind of jukes around, only gets a few yards. We get the ball back. We have a chance. We could kick another field goal. or I mean, we could score another touchdown, or we could kick a field goal to extend the lead. But we got to be smart. We can't just throw incomplete passes and picks. That's a nice play there. Gets the first down out of bounds you see the total yards we've got 118 rushing we're doing fantastic in this first half 31 seconds so we don't have all the time in the world we're still a few yards away from field goal range this look at this bright light Raphael little breaks the tackle look at the speed turn up field my man are you kidding me he breaks the tackle running backwards and then just turns up field the acceleration and the agility I mean, the stamina to break this tackle, and we barely, that was such a risky pass. It could have been an interception. Instead, it's a broken tackle. The only reason I threw it to him because he was flashing in the zone. That's nearly guaranteed a broken tackle. Not always. Depends on how good your guy is. But look at this lead, man. 21-7. to We're feeling great. Our offense, look at the total yards. 234, 124. And most importantly, guys, no turnovers in this one. No picks, no fumbles. We're playing a very, very great game. But we're still a lot of work to do. We got the ball coming out to start the second half. This would be a huge drive if we could get points here, make it a three-score game. They get an early jump here, so we're going to take a shot. Demario Ford out of bounds. That was so close, and they didn't throw the flag. I thought they were offside, so that's why I threw that one up there. 
ended up going out of bounds. Now it's third down. We're going to try to hit Rafael Little. He makes a nice spin move, but it's too far behind the line. We got to punt it, and we got to just trust our defense. We only gave up seven points in that first half, but Georgia, they can come back, especially when they're in this power formation. I don't really know what to go with. Fortunately, they run a toss, but we're, we just get eaten up by a block. He picks up the first down. Second and six now, still under center. Brown in the backfield has been a workhorse all game. They give it to the fullback and use Brown as a blocker. And look at this guy, man. Look at their fullback. Sutherland just picks up like 20 yards. Now they're in the red zone. So Georgia right back in the game if they score a touchdown here. Second and eight. They tried to run again. We were able to stop, stop it for just two yards. Now they're in shotgun. Calling an audible. They're, we're trying to match with them. We're playing zone coverage because I like our chances. And this, this was probably a bad audible there. That was a horrible read by Tereshinsky. A free rusher on the edge, and he just gets sandwiched in the backfield. Uh, it's third and 13 on the 23-yard line. This is a huge play here. We could get them. We could hold them for a field goal, keep it at a two-possession game. Or we could get a pick, but it's caught. What a pass. I don't know how that one got through. I was a little too close. I was a little too far up to get an animation and jump up. And they somehow squeeze that one in. Now it's first and goal on the five. We really got to play some sound defense here. But Georgia, they're power, they're, they run power football right up the middle. Look at this, man. He just throws us to the ground. Are you kidding? That's an easy touchdown. Georgia back in it. They're only down seven. So we really have to be mindful of this lead. We can't play too conservatively. We're still calling some passes. Andre Woodson in the zone. But the blitz just, just destroys us. There's a We got to have an offensive lineman on the ground immediately. That's never a good sign. Third and 16. We have to be careful here, guys, because we haven't had any turnovers yet. Now is definitely not the time for one. We have to be careful. I'd like to pick up some yards here. And this is just a bad pass. That's a horrible pass. Maybe it got rattled on that sack a little bit. Accuracy might have went down. We give Georgia the ball back, and that's not a good sign when this guy's running for 15 yards. We've really got to keep him in the box if we can. I don't like when he bounces outside like that. So they actually drop back to pass here. I wasn't really expecting it. But neither was their offensive line. We actually get another sack. So our defensive end, our defensive line, our defensive end specifically, and our linebackers on the blitz on, in this 3-4 have actually done a great job getting pressure. It's now second and 18. They're taking their time on this one, calling another audible. Taking on the play clock all the way down. Plenty of protection this time. They take a shot, but it's out of the back of the end zone, incomplete, into the stands. You see, this guy can't hear, man. Let's keep this crowd noise up. I love it. He, they tried to audible. He couldn't hear. Kind of a miscommunication, just a bad throw. Now it's third and 18. We, we fan out the linebackers to the outside. We're only rushing four, and we get another sack. It's White, our defensive end. That's his second sack of the game, and that is a huge one because they've got wind. Even though they have wind in their back, it puts them out of field goal range, and they end up punting here. We get the ball back, third and one now. We need to convert this to keep the pressure on their defense. We're going to take some time here, and we get a broken tackle in the backfield. That's a nice run. Here it goes, guys. We're in the fourth quarter. This is where it all counts. Second and six now. Taking our time, making sure we get a nice. Look at this broken tackle. Rafael Little, another first down. That's that, what's well, so critical, and you see his yards here. 15 carries for 70 yards. That's pretty solid, considering Georgia has such a good defense. We pick up another eight yards. Rafael Little gets it again. He gets a lot of pressure in the backfield, but picks up the first down. And you see, you saw it on that play, the great jump. That's what's so critical in this game. If you can limit the defense to have as few as great jumps as they can, you're going to have some, some success on offense. It's going to be a little easier. But when they get great jumps like this, I mean, that that's what happens, man. They blow up Jacob Tammy. We take a delay a game trying to draw them offside. So we end up punting this, and it's a beautiful punt inside the five yard line on the four. Now, Georgia, we've got some pressure. We can re look at the crowd noise. We're getting up near 100 decibels. We're getting up there. Not quite the level of Florida or Louisville, but this dude is just, their fullback is taking control, man. You give him to him, he's going to get you some yards. Now it's third and inches. We stuff them on the next play. Or, excuse me, this is on the 31 yard line. They actually got some pretty simple runs. They picked it up. Now they toss it, and we're there. Look at this. What is he doing? He breaks through. Are you kidding? They pick up that first down. The clock is moving. They've run it on every play. We're under three minutes now. 
This is critical here. Third down. They run it again. They're running it every single play, and this is a big one this time. Picks it up for the first down. You can see total offense pretty even. They're catching up a little bit, and if they can score a touchdown, they'll probably pass us on this drive. Now they finally throw it, and we're not ready for it. We are not ready for it. We played man coverage because they ran up every single play on this drive. Then they just drop back and throw a nice pass for a first down. They're in the red zone. Clock is ticking. Toss play. We're ready for it, and we're there. We actually make the tackle. We wrap up finally. This guy's gotten so many broken tackles this game. Now they're back outside of red zone, second and 13 on the 22, but they've got to get a touchdown, so it's four downs from here on out. Dropping back to pass. They run a hill, man. Look at this. They run st streaks. All three wide receivers go deep. We dodge a bullet there because I wasn't prepared for that at all. Now it's third and 13. They've got two plays to get 13 yards. We've just got to contain them. Trying to mix up our alignment a little bit just to confuse the quarterback. We're playing Marcus McClinton over here in the far side of the field. We're going to cheat up just a little bit. We back away. Trying to find somebody, and that's incomplete, guys. Maybe that maybe the alignment made him a little rattled, and he didn't really know where to go with the ball. Here he is, guys. Fourth and 13. Possibly the game here. They do have all their timeouts, so we would have to get another first down if we want to confirm this win. Fourth and 13. Tereshinsky drops back. He completes it. But where's this guy going? Woodyard actually comes back and makes the tackle. That stops short. That's a fourth down. Stop. We've got the ball. Georgia has all three timeouts. They just used one. And again, Jacob Tammy is having a rough game. He got blown up again. That's a loss of three yards. Georgia's got one more timeout, so it really doesn't matter what we do here. I would like to pick up the first down. We're actually going to swing it to Little. He's got some space. They have, they have a lot of speed to close. We almost pick it up. We pick up 11 yards, and you can see Raphael Little leading us in receiving with seven catches, 85 yards. We're going to play it safe and punt this. I, they, I, can't, I can't remember if they already burned all one time out or if they just elected not to use it for some reason. But look at this. Here's, this is a problem. Wesley Woodyard trying to strip the ball. He gets a hold of the face mask instead. That's a 15-yard penalty. And now they've got it inside the 50 already. So 54 seconds left. Our defense has played well all game. 21-14. We've only given up 14 points. Our offense has been consistent. Woodyard there makes up for it, makes a nice tackle, keeps him in bounds. The clock is running. At this point, I think they actually don't have any timeouts. I can't remember if they still have one left or not. But it doesn't matter. They're going to drop back and throw. They have plenty of time. And Woodyard, oh, he, he jumps on that one, plays it, plays it pretty aggressive. They actually pick it up this time for a first down. 35 seconds. Clock is running there in no huddle. I'm not even ready. I'm laying on the ground over here. I'm way out of position. i got to run all the way across the field. And they end up going to the flat, pick up four yards. We actually will take that. They're going to run no huddle again. You can see how stressful this is. Our guys are trying to run back. I'm thinking about actually burning a timeout if they get it off sides. We get lined up for this one, and they're taking a shot, and it, we end up controlling the wrong guy. <laughs> and that's pretty unfortunate. They throw it up to their running back. He makes a touchdown. You can see me here. Look, I controlled the wrong guy. I thought I was going to take control of Booker. I took the corner. So we're probably going to play for overtime. We're just going to see what happens here. Um, we're looking at maybe Raphael Little just to get him out in space maybe. Uh, but look at this. They we they end up playing a pretty soft zone. We take a shot. Dickie Lyons, what's the worst that can happen? He makes the catch. Are you kidding? Dickie Lyons, where has he been all game? He makes that catch. And that, throw, that pass was thrown with the wind. I thought that was going to sail for sure. But Dickie Lyons runs under it. He's got underrated speed. We're set up for a game-winning field goal. 42 yards. Wind is at our back perfectly. Here it is. Taking our time. Can we hit this? We get a perfect kick. It's up. And it is good. It tried to sneak right a little bit. But here's the deal. There's one second left. There's one second left. So I kind of thought that would be the end of the game. I thought the clock may run out. They gave him one last second. So... We're going to actually kick this one deep with the wind in our back, at least try to. That's a pretty good kick. We're gonna, It's going to sail all the way out of the end zone. So Georgia's got one more play. Uh, we know how to defend this. We've got everybody deep. We've got three safeties. We're in prevent. We're going to take control of Booker for this play just to help guard. They've got th trips to the right, so this looks like it's going to be a Hail Mary. Hail Mary to the right. We're going to play for it, but look at this. Brown sneaks out. Oh, no, Javard Lindley's not there. Where is everybody? Oh, he back jukes. Are you kidding? Javard Lindley, thank you. <laughs> I 
I have never seen something like that in my life. If they scored there, that would have been the, the miracle in the bluegrass, the LSU play all over again. You see, look at Javar Lindley in the background. He's like, he literally saved us on that one. The, the closing speed, Javar Lindley makes a stop. That, I almost jumped out of my chair. Thank goodness we made that tackle or else that would have been one of the worst ways you could possibly lose. A Hail Mary and they sneak it out in the backfield to the running back. And I don't know what's happening right now. He's jumping on somebody. That was kind of weird. But we get the win, guys. A bit, the biggest, Probably the biggest win of the season. We beat South Carolina in another, another ESPN Classic, the number three greatest game of all time on our dynasty so far. We only played eight um, or nine now. But you can see, we, we actually pretty balanced on this one. We had 147 rushing yards. Um, we stopped them in the red zone on one play. And here's the difference, guys. Zero turnovers both ways. So if you guys saw the Florida game, the Louisville game, it was turnovers everywhere. This one was a pretty, pretty clean game. No turnovers. Only 191 passing yards, but we were without Keenan Burton. Rafael Little, another four yards per carry. Uh, uh, trust me, guys. Look at John Connor. 49 yards. <laughs> He had a long run. Rafael Little leading us in receiving. We didn't have Keenan Burton again. He was suspended for this game. Dicky Lyons with the best catch of his career so far. And what a way to win this one. How about Darrell White? Four tackles for a loss, two sacks. Maybe the player of the game on defense. Those sacks were huge. It took him out of field goal range. We get the win. Andre Woodson, very solid game. No turnovers for this one. And that's a good win, man. We're a B minus and they're an A overall. Now, one thing I didn't show in the last game we're going to show you guys now is we got some recruits. We actually got some commitments this week. So it was a home game. We hosted several commitments. Dustin Smith out of Ohio. This is a four-star wide receiver. He looks really good. He's got good speed, good hands, average discipline, average potential. Not bad at all. We actually go up to get him. He probably liked that game and that Dickie Lyons catch at the end. We got a three-star tackle from the state of Kentucky. That's good for our O-line. We went with we emphasized location for him to stay in state, and then another wide receiver. Uh, ignore the names; we'll probably change them when we get into the next season. But here's here's what the rest of in season recruiting like is recruiting is like right now. So we've got this we got this guy Carl Barr. He's interested. We he got a soft verbal, so he didn't pick him up, but he is interested in us. We're on the top of his list right now. Dustin Smith we picked up. James Adams we had already picked up on a previous week, and then another. Right, a right tackle and then another wide receiver. So not doing bad. Top 25 polls. Florida's actually ranked number one right now. So we almost beat them last game or last video and they're ranked number one. Louisville gets the win over West Virginia. That's a nice win for them. They're now number four. So they're going to be pretty good next season. UCLA in here. I don't see UCLA in here that much. They're in the top 10. Uh, LSU lost to Tennessee. So that's a, that'll be in Tennessee is probably going to be ranked when we play them. They are seven and two. So this is just what the polls look like. Alabama's up here. They won 9-3 over Mississippi State. Uh, Iowa State, San Diego State, North, North Carolina State. Uh, Notre Dame's dropped out already in this dynasty. They're like preseason number five. Uh, conference standings. Here's the conference standings. We're actually sitting up third in the East now. We passed Georgia with that win. So we're sitting a very respectable 3-3 three three in conference and 5-4 and four overall. So not a bad record. We still got one more non-conference game that we should win. Um, to close out the season, guys. So that's going to do it. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. We'll see you next video. Peace.